Hey, this is Jamie at Useful Knowledge. So today we're gonna to talk about the Diamondback HD truck bed cover. Now this is an unsponsored review. I bought this truck cover a year ago and bottom line up front, if I bought a new truck tomorrow, I would buy another one of these bed covers. So stay tuned, we're gonna go over some of the installation tips and we're just gonna show you some of the stuff we've done with this truck bed cover over the past year. Okay, first of all, preparation to put this diamond back on, on this ram. All I did here was I actually screwed down the lip of my bed liner. And I did that because I didn't want it to move. I want a good seal through here. So I actually screwed it down with some fender screws. I got those at, um, at the auto parts store and I put it like four across. No big deal there. And then for this gap here. Now I've had issues with other bed covers in the past where if you had a bed liner and then you had a factory installed rail like you have here water would come through here so what I did here is I filled this up with black silicone basically it's like a gasket maker and and it filled up really nicely and was really easy to do so I did that last night put the screws in last night and so we're ready to put this on okay I want to show you here what I did I put four of these screws across this bed liner rail just so it won't move. That way I can keep a good seal with this diamond back bed cover. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like when it comes. This was shipped freight, I had to go pick it up. I used my tractor to get it out of the back of my truck. I'm sure if you had some help, a couple of folks could get this out, no problem. Okay, in between the two main parts of the cover was actually a box that says start here. That's what we're gonna do. I think this might be my favorite instruction sheet ever. It's just one sheet front and back and that's it. Okay, all I've done here is just what the instruction said. It said sit this center part up on your rail and have it cheated slightly towards the back. So that's what we've done. Okay, your main parts for this installation are your cap clamps and your gas springs. Okay, once you get your center cap, sit in place the instructions say put in your four cap clamps and finger tighten them on the interior corners of the cap clamp so that's what we're doing here i've got one just set up here kind of finger tightened and we've got to do three more okay so yes it can be installed by one person i just did it it's not easy now we're gonna have to move this thing up looks like we're probably about two inches too far back this way so we're gonna have to scoot everything forward okay once you get the cover set in place what you want to do next and this is in the instructions you want to tighten down all of the cap clamps so the cap clamps use a 9 16 socket and just tighten them down now one tip right here where it actually clamps around the bed rail you want to make sure that's backed up against the bed rail there when you tighten it down that's right where my fingers at so what you're going to do at this point you're going to loosen one of these 7 16 inch nuts you're going to remove a little bolt and basically all you're going to do is get that to drop down and and then we're going to reinstall that on both sides. We're going to reinstall it on that side. And that's your locking mechanism for your back. So we're going to also do this up towards the front. And then we'll be done with our locking mechanism. Okay, a tip for installing on a ram. So for your lock rods, they want you to install this over the metal part of your bed rail on the inside. And that's just so it doesn't cut up your uh, your locking rods too bad because there's a actually a piece of uh, looks like rubber or plastic over it so what I've noticed you're gonna have to trim about half of this off okay for them for it to properly install on the ram that's what I've ran into on this one this is a 2017 ram so what I did is I just did this right here and you're ready to go you're gonna peel that back it'll slide right up on there and you'll be ready to go so just a heads up that's a tip for you okay so we're doing a review on this diamond bag HD bed cover 
and this is an unsponsored review. So last night we had some huge storms. As a matter of fact, I have a tree down across my driveway and we're talking about a big tree that I'm about to go take my tractor and try to move out of the way. But first, what I want to do is show you how well this Diamondback HD bed cover did. So let's see here. So I don't know if you noticed, there's a bead of water around the edges of the tailgate, so it didn't get in. And yeah, I got a bunch of junk in the back of my truck, but everything is dry, including my dog food, and my charcoal that I forgot to get out. There is not a drop of water in this bed right now. Okay, just a heads up. I use my truck like a truck's meant to be used. And this Diamondback HD bed cover has actually exceeded my expectations. It's been about four months since I put it on still have had zero leaks went through all the spring all the rain driving in the rain never got a single leak so i'm impressed and again this is a non-sponsored review of the diamondback hd bed cover okay well here's some more weather that the diamondback hd truck cover is handling very nicely now obviously I live in North Alabama and we don't get a lot of this white stuff. But for you folks up north, this is where this HD truck cover is really going to do well. It's going to be able to handle all that snow load and more. Okay, we hope you gained some useful knowledge about the Diamondback HD truck bed cover. It's been one year, still zero leaks. Thanks for watching.